So we've got severe weather to talk about here. And uh, this camera pointed out in the direction of what was the severe thunderstorm. Severe thunderstorm warning has just been allowed to expire. But Helena, 78. How about that wind at the airport recently? A gust of 49. East Helena, gust to 62 miles per hour. Great Falls, we have blue sky just an hour ago. Now it's clouding up. Storms are closing in. Crazy eight, 88 degrees. We've got temperatures in the 80s and 90s, except for 69 in Butte, where we've had a little more in the way of rain and some tree damage there uh, as well. Severe thunderstorm watch goes through this evening. Look at all that activity racing up through the southwestern part of the state here. Uh, again, strong to severe thunderstorms. It was a little worse around Helena earlier. You can see things have kind of quieted down, but still some lightning strikes. Look at that. That was the severe thunderstorm warning, that yellow box right there that it again has been allowed to expire. Maybe a little hail out there closer uh, to about the East Helena here. Again, severe thunderstorm warning, gust of 60 miles an hour expired. Got some heavy rain still out there. And how about yesterday, the Hellgate Gulch fire estimated at 108 acres. That area got rain last night and more rain today. So hopefully that's helping the firefighters off towards the south. Looks like just light rain. Great falls though. You're looking at the thunderstorms closing in from all angles up there just east of geyser north of stanford that's a pretty mean looking thunderstorm had some storms out there around uh, judith gap kind of diminishing as they drift toward the lewistown area the rocky mountain front boy out here we got hit clobbered by thunderstorms yesterday more wet weather moving up the divide and off the rocky mount front lincoln some soaking rain happening right now all of this will continue to work its way off towards the northeast and in eastern Montana. We had some thunderstorms. Things are moving on out, but some of that wet weather will be headed your direction uh, later on here tonight. Also, what could be headed our direction? Two fires in central Idaho are putting out a lot of smoke once again, and that could contribute to some lesser than uh, desirable air quality here over the next few days. But look at some of this thunderstorm activity working its way up. Cascade County, Judith Basin County, Shoto County, up to about Haver by about 10 o'clock. Helen, I think the worst of it's over. We may still have a shower or thunderstorm yet this evening. Tomorrow, starting out quiet, we'll have a couple of thunderstorms fire here as well. And although on the map it's looking like they're further east than Helen and Great Falls, we may have a few thunderstorms close by here. Not as bad as today, not as bad as yesterday, but some storms around nonetheless. And then heading into Wednesday, this August's odd weather continues. We'll have a few thunderstorms fire again in the afternoon and the evening. Big fires in the sawtooth of Idaho, and we'll have to watch through tomorrow and then also Wednesday in the southwest flow where that smoke goes and how it affects our air quality. So tonight, a stormy night. Tomorrow, not as stormy, although we will still have thunderstorms fire in the afternoon and the evening. And it's another warm one, upper 80s to about 90 degrees. Wednesday, yeah, a few thunderstorms still out there. We start to cool things down. 80s, 70s, into Thursday, a rare storm-free day. <laughs> Once again, for a lot of the states, 70s and 80s for highs, high pressure briefly moving through. And then into Friday, look at some of those heats getting up into the 90s, pretty strong south winds. And we'll have a few isolated thunderstorms coming through ahead of what could be an even bigger storm system for this weekend. So, some storm activity around Tuesday and Wednesday, more isolated in nature. Same with Friday, but Saturday and Sunday, we're watching the potential for a bigger, colder, wetter storm that would really hit the state pretty hard. So, we'll be following that.